Fireworks erupted in Parliament as Pierre Polyev unleashed a blistering attack on Justin Trudeau's unraveling leadership, with a rattled prime minister reduced to screaming fits under the barrage of criticism. Polyev lambasted Trudeau as losing control on issues from public safety to affordability, provoking howls of protest from the prime minister. But Trudeau's unhinged hysterics only reinforced perceptions he has lost his grip, lashing out like a cornered animal when confronted with his policy failures wreaking havoc on Canada. The unhinged prime minister flailed wildly, a screaming tantrum underscoring his utter loss of control and lack of solutions to reverse Canada's deepening crisis on his watch. It's only the third day back in session and Trudeau is already reduced to having screaming tantrums like a petulant child. How much more unhinged will he become as his failing leadership continues to unravel over the coming months? Welcome back to Street Politics Canada. In a new hearing session, the House was on fire after Polyev repeatedly slammed Trudeau for the chaos that the country is in. Polyev attacked Trudeau for losing control as the auto theft crisis spirals under his watch. Crime and public safety have taken a backseat under Justin Trudeau's liberal government like everything else. Nowhere is this more evident than with the auto theft crisis plaguing cities across Canada. As vehicles continue to vanish from driveways at alarming rates, Pierre Polyev is calling out Trudeau's failed policies that have allowed this reckless criminality to fester and grow. During a recent parliament session, Polyev grilled Trudeau over the rampant auto thefts that have skyrocketed 300% in Toronto since 2015, the year Trudeau took office. Stop the auto theft that has run rampant under this prime minister. He's now throwing a cape over his back, claiming that he's the hero on auto theft, but it's actually tripled in Toronto, and it's up by 100% in Montreal after he brought in catch and release and house arrest for car thieves, and after his incompetence allowed our ports to spin out of control and our cars to be exported to overseas crime and terror networks. Why doesn't he reverse his policies instead of another meeting? Polyev called out Trudeau's incompetence to solve the crisis and slammed his approach which has been an unmitigated failure. When challenged on his floundering policies, Trudeau had no solutions, only empty slogans and finger-pointing. A rattled Trudeau claimed conservatives are just whipping out empty slogans while he rolls up his sleeves. But Polyev shot back, asking why Trudeau doesn't just reverse his soft-on-crime policies that open the floodgates to this auto-theft crisis. Cornered by the surging crime rate under his watch, Trudeau pathetically claimed, there's more to do. But Canadians have lost faith in his ability or willingness to get crime under control. Violent crime has skyrocketed 40% since Trudeau took office, and his policies are directly to blame. Polyev ruthlessly mocked the farcical press conference Trudeau's bumbling ministers held in a pathetic attempt to cover up their failing efforts to combat this crisis. Of course, 2015 was the year Trudeau came to power. Crime is way up. Violent crime is up 40% under this prime minister. And uh, today he held, he had his ministers hold a big press conference as their solution. And in it, they put out a press release that said, and I quote, in 2022, approximately 9,600 vehicles were stolen in the Toronto area alone, representing a 300% increase since 2015, end quote. What happened, what happened in 2015? <laughs> I know, he happened, Mr. Speaker. How can we make him unhappen and stop the crime? Yeah. And crime has exploded ever since. Trudeau ludicrously claimed his press release just shows he includes facts, something Polly ever retorted Harper never did. But continuously worsening crime speaks for itself. Trudeau's desperation led to unhinged histrionics in Parliament. As Polyev detailed the government's press release outlining the 300% surge in auto thefts under Trudeau's watch, the rattled PM flew into a screaming fit. His out-of-control emotional meltdown over his failed crime policies laid bare a leader who has completely lost his grip. Trudeau's unprime ministerial screaming and hollering only reinforced his government's ineptitude and lack of answers. Trudeau tried to defend his record, shrieking that conservatives want to bring back assault weapons, while he keeps Canadians safe. But the crime statistics expose this as an outright lie. After years of muted responses and soft policies have backfired disastrously, Trudeau is now reduced to throwing public tantrums when confronted with the consequences. Polyev exposed that Trudeau's incompetence has mired the nation in a quagmire of escalating lawlessness, violence, unaffordability, and economic turmoil. He ever losing control of himself. <laughs> oh my goodness. Screaming and hollering like that. Mr. Speaker, his it's his press release yeah. that says that in Toronto, Auto thefts are up 300% since he took 
office. His solution is to hold a summit. He held a summit on food prices. Food prices went up. He held a summit on housing. Housing costs doubled. How much is crime going to rise after all the bigwigs go to his summit? Yeah. Yet Trudeau snivels and finger points rather than taking responsibility like an adult. His juvenile hysterics and lack of accountability for the dire predicament facing Canadians due to his ineptitude prove he does not have the maturity or capacity to lead. Canadians are right to ask, what happened to the leader who promised real change back in 2015? Now we see only a floundering PM lashing out erratically as violent crime climbs unchecked. Trudeau's hypocrisy is astounding. His government claims auto thefts have tripled under their watch due to Stephen Harper's budget cuts in 2015. But this is a transparent attempt to evade accountability. His liberal MPs are confessing to the surge of car thefts under his watch. In a stunning admission, Liberal MP and Treasury Board President Anita Anand revealed that Trudeau's soft on crime policies are directly responsible for the recent surge in auto theft plaguing communities across Canada. Also, an issue relating to affordability. From an economic standpoint, in fact, in this country, the cost to health care, criminal justice, and insurance agencies related to vehicle theft are estimated at about $1 billion per year. The auto theft crisis exploded after Trudeau implemented weak sentencing and prosecutorial policies centered on rehabilitation over punishment. Offenders now act with impunity, knowing they'll likely never face serious jail time. Trudeau also reduced penalties for serious crimes across the board. Crimes that previously carried five-plus year sentences were reduced below two years to avoid jail time. Mandatory minimums were eliminated for gun crimes, and house arrest became the default for violent offenses. At the same time, Trudeau weakened our borders, diverting CBSA resources away from ports. This allowed stolen vehicle trafficking to metastasize, with thousands of cars now flowing undetected offshore yearly. These disastrous policies created the perfect conditions for auto theft and organized crime to flourish. Yet Trudeau wants Canadians to believe that minor budget reductions eight years ago are somehow responsible for the uncontrolled crime wave under his government's watch. This strains credulity. By gutting sentences, allowing prolific offenders to walk free, leaving the borders porous and refusing to crack down meaningfully, Trudeau's bleeding heart policies have directly fueled the auto theft epidemic terrorizing our communities. Once promising sunny ways and a new era of leadership, Trudeau has now been reduced to unhinged emotional outbursts and excuses in the face of his policy failures. Increasingly unmoored from reality, Trudeau is lashing out wildly at critics, while showing little comprehension of the public safety crisis unfolding under his watch. With no solutions beyond holding failed summits and trying to shift blame, Trudeau has clearly lost control. His unprime ministerial screening fits in Parliament reveal a leader who was woefully unprepared for the realities of governing. Trudeau seems more focused on theatrics and appearances than delivering results. His response to spiking crime rates, summit meetings, and rhetorical flourishes epitomizes this style-over-substance approach. Meanwhile, the escalating auto theft crisis is wrecking lives and endangering communities across Canada. Citizens deserve better than a prime minister who postures and preens but fails to take responsibility or act decisively. Trudeau's policies have been a godsend for criminals, but eight years of avoiding tough decisions have left Canadians paying the price. With violent crime spiraling out of control under Trudeau's feckless leadership, his endless excuses ring impotently hollow. The rampant lawlessness and disintegration of public order stems directly from his government's short-sighted, bleeding-heart policies. It's clear Trudeau is either unwilling or unable to take the difficult steps necessary to restore law and order. The time has come for this floundering prime minister to step aside for a leader with a backbone to clean up the disastrous mess he created. For eight years, Trudeau has gone out of his way to coddle criminals while neglecting victims and public safety. This misguided mindset has produced disastrous outcomes now plaguing communities across Canada. Trudeau's hub thug mentality has empowered the worst offenders. Violent criminals now roam free, emboldened by the absence of consequences. Police have been stripped of tools needed to target repeat offenders. Sentences are a slap on the wrist for serious crimes. And bleeding heart prosecutors regularly stay or withdraw charges, allowing criminality to go unpunished. This systemic failure has nurtured an atmosphere of lawlessness. Offenders know they can steal, threaten, even stab or shoot with virtual impunity. Jail is no longer a deterrence under Trudeau's catch-and-release policies. Canadians now face rampant criminality, exploding addiction and mental health crises, and public disorders spinning out of control. This is the real-world impact of Trudeau's naive, soft-on-crime approach. The escalating auto theft epidemic is just one example of the broader failure. Canadians deserve better than leaders who coddle criminals while citizens pay the price. Well, that's all for now. 
How much longer will Canadians tolerate a prime minister who seems more focused on theatrics than delivering real solutions to the crisis facing our nation? Let us know what you think in the comments below. And if you haven't, please subscribe and leave a like for this video. Your support helps us continue our work. You can also follow us on Twitter, where we post stuff we can't post on YouTube. You can find the link in the description below. Thanks again for your support, and I will see you in the next one.